Mr. Price. Come on in, Price. Have a seat. I'll be with you in a minute. Gatorade? No, thanks. I've sworn off. Is that a joke? I don't like jokes. I don't understand them. It's because I have no sense of humor. You know, <clears throat> my entire life, people have told me that, and they used to make me very upset. But then I realized it's an asset. It's a moneymaker. You wouldn't happen to have any bourbon to go with that Gatorade, would you? I don't drink. Mm. If you want my opinion, 10 o'clock in the morning is a little early for drinking. Well, I usually don't start till around noon, but I'll make an exception. I don't like drunks, Price. Well, that makes us even. I don't like humorless little pricks throwing their weight around. You want to get your feet Listen, up my you want desk? to tell me what this is all about? Take you your want fucking feet off my here? desk. I take back what I said. You're not little. You're also not CIA, so where are you coming from? The White House, NSC. Oh, shit. What the hell does that mean? You're one of those. One of those what? One of those true believers who think they know what they're doing. I didn't want you, Price. But they sent you to me because you know who we're dealing with. Who's that? Gerald Bull. What about him? He's in bed with the Iraqis. And the Israelis are tagging him. You know them, too. You've worked with them. You're to tell them to get off his back. Just tell the Israelis. Just tell the Israelis to do as we say. You give them $3 billion a year in aid. They don't even tell us what they're doing. Well, that's gratitude. Iraq laid down their weapons today and signed a U.N. Brugger ceasefire. Both sides may be exhausted, but experts say Iraq has come out of the fighting in a stronger position. Iraqi forces captured a substantial amount of weapons and land in the last months of the war. It's not clear what, if anything, Saddam may do next. There are growing fears that with this renewed military strength, he may... You say three months, don't... Jesus, Duvall, he's finally building his gun, his dream gun. It's bigger than anything we've ever seen. It's a fucking super gun, for Christ's sake. So? Maybe you don't give a shit. Maybe we want him to have it, and so do the Brits, but I'm telling you, the Israelis will fucking kill him. You were supposed to talk to the Israelis. I talked, they listened, nothing changed. Try talking again, Price. Use your big mouth, you're good at that. Which fucking young Republican club did they get you from? Ohio, Nebraska? Use your brain for a minute. Give Saddam that gun, he'll hijack the whole Middle East. He's a gangster. And don't tell me that's okay because he's our gangster. I've heard that shit before, and it stinks! You do your job. We can't afford to let Saddam Hussein have Gerald Bull's super gun. Our orders are to leave Bull alone. We can't leave him alone! Watch your fucking step, you hear me? We have a game plan for the Middle East, and Saddam's part of it, trade-wise and every other way. What, do you want those crazy mullahs running the world? You know what oil means, Price? Cheap oil? We need Saddam Hussein. He's on our side. So you be a good soldier here, or you're through. You understand me? I mean that. You break ranks on this one, and you won't just end up back behind a desk. I will personally see to it you end up in a federal penitentiary. And it wasn't Ohio or Nebraska. It was Indiana. Oh, well, that makes sense. Congratulations. Thanks. When do I get the pieces of silver? It's not Jesus Christ. Duvall. 
What's a bank in Atlanta got to do with a bank in Italy that's fronting for the state bank of Iraq? I'm not in the banking business, Price, and neither are you. You don't know anything about this? What I know is that you struck out with the Israelis, right? You don't find it peculiar that is an American... Is something the matter with your ears? Are you hearing impaired? That bank is none of your concern. You know about this. I want to meet with the Israelis. You weren't able to call them off, so I will. Now, you want to bet? Don't push me, Price. Well, I just thought maybe you'd like to put your money where your mouth is. Set up a meeting. Taxpayers. Humanitarian purposes, Duvall. Humanitarian. Do you like that word? You've probably never heard it before, right? Food, medicine, clothing. That son of a bitch is selling it, for Christ's sake. Cool, Price. I'm laundering money through the goddamn bank in Atlanta and then turning around and buying arms with it, courtesy of the American taxpayer. I said cool it. I want to know whose operation this you is. You want to know? Yes. You want to know? Who the fuck do you think you are? You've got a right to know. You know what, Price? Whatever this is, it's none of your business. Whose business is it? Not yours. Well, we kiss the ass of this murderer. We, we take money from starving kids, and you want me to... Come on, you're breaking my heart here. What, are you getting holy on me? You suddenly got religion? I know where you've been, Price. Nicaragua, Angola. Don't talk to me like you just popped out of the shell. This one stinks, Duvall. Well, try holding your nose. I'm sure you've done that before. It's policy. Whose policy? Cowboys like you running the show? You doling out little goodies? Or does it stink from the head like a dead fish? I want to know who's responsible. I got a right to know. You know what, Price? You're in the wrong business. <laughs> well, you got no future here. As a matter of fact, you don't even have a present. You're off this case. You stay away, far away, or I swear to God, your ass is grass. Clear 